Okay, we're almost to the point where we can run this model, but before we do that, we want to be able to look at convergence. Um, we want to be able to monitor convergence while it's running. So I'm going to show you how to create a new report. Um, since this model is based around temperature, um, we're going to create a new um, volume average report. And that's going to be um, the field function that we're going to select is temperature. See, there it is, temperature. And then we are going to input the part water. So this is going to average the water and show us as the iterations increase how that temperature changes. And it should converge to a value because it's the average. Now we will also run another report um, or create another report, which is going to be a maximum and another report which is going to be a minimum. And again, these are just ways to um, monitor a specific value, in this case temperature, um, over the course of the whole simulation as the iterations increase. Um, oops. So I'm, gonna, I'm assigning temperature to each of these. Um, uh, sorry, I passed it. And then I also, for minimum and maximum, I need to give it the correct part. That's water. And then, after we have created these reports, we're going to select all of them and create monitor and plot from report. And we're going to put it all in a single plot since they're all of temperature. Okay? And then I like to call this temp mon plot. You can give it whatever name you want but that means that it's a temperature monitor plot. And as you can see, it'll have temperature on the y-axis and the, the iteration number on the x-axis as your simulation runs. Again, these three should converge to a, base, to a value. That'll help you know when your simulation has basically finished. Um, and then the other thing we need to do, another way to visualize the solution, is to create a scalar scene. Um, which is going to show the temperature profiles in a more colorful way that is um, it's a little more visually pleasing than the than the plot but um, but it's not um, I guess it's not as exact it's more generalized so we're actually going to choose derived parts here and we're going to choose our plain sections one through three um, and then we're going to choose the scalar field to be temperature right here. Um, we're going to scroll down to temperature. So uh, it looks like those are not showing up yet. Sometimes you got to scroll down here and look at the representation, make sure it's re representing the volume mesh. Um, what could it be? The why don't we take a look at our derived parts up here and make sure that they are still referencing the right part. Yeah, that's okay. For whatever reason, they're not showing up. Oh, I, I forgot to click OK when I selected the these planes as my parts. There we go. There's those planes. So when we start the, the run, um, it will show a temperature gradient on here in different, using different colors. Um, and so that's how, you, uh, that's how you set up those kind of monitors just to monitor how your solution is doing.